Freezing temperatures didn't stop people in Monroe County for taking part in a centuries old tradition. Newswatch 16's Mandy Eustace takes us to the annual Toby Hanna Ice Harvest. For nearly 29 years, people from near and far gather at Mill Pong Lake in Coolbot Township to take part in a tradition. The Toby Hanna Ice Harvest. Sue Smith has lived in the area her entire life. She thought it was time to come out and experience it. This industry many years ago is what people survived with on and um, we wanted to see you know, the hard work that was involved and the tools and the process of cutting the ice. Thin ice and the coronavirus canceled the harvest the last two years. Merton Quick has come every year of the harvest, using it as a way to honor his grandfather. My grandfather used to work on ice at this pond plus all the other ponds. And years ago, there used to be a horse and donkey barn here, a mule barn, and he used to come on weekends and take care of it, the animals. That's why we're here, in memory of him. Harvesting the ice is a process, and some may say a workout. Once, once the ice is cut with this antique power saw, people then get to work using a handsaw to get more precise. After the ice is freed, it's then guiding down this ice cold water channel and onto a conveyor belt. Horses then work, pulling it up the ramp and into the ice house. Back at the early 1900s, uh, this lake was used for commercial ice harvesting. Uh, that was back before refrigerators and people had ice boxes in their kitchen. And in order to keep that ice box cold, they had to cut ice off of ponds like this. It's an important part of Kumba Township history and the whole area here. Uh, many lakes were used for, for the ice industry. The piece of local history was shared today with people like Alyssa Teeter. She says the experience is humbling. I wish everybody could just see a little piece of history and maybe then they would appreciate how well we do have it and not complain maybe as much because it could be a whole different story. 270 ice blocks later and the hard work has paid off. The Mill Pond Ice House is stuffed with cakes of ice, staying frozen well into the summer. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.